It's a beautiful night in Phoenix, Arizona in the final NBA game before the All-Star break with a taste of what's to come this weekend in Houston here tonight as our game features three of the five Western Conference All-Star starters. It's the Houston Rockets taking on the Phoenix Suns in game two of our TNT doubleheader. With Doug Collins and Craig Sager, Kevin Harlan, now our lineups tonight brought to you by McDonald's. The big matchup, Doug, you want to watch tonight, Tracy McGrady against Sean Marion. Well, Kevin, Sean Marion, obviously one of the better defenders in the NBA, but when he's matched up with Tracy McGrady, one of the things they lose is his ability to really help uh, in the post and double down and do a lot of the things he likes to help off the basketball. So I think you'll see a lot of Raja Bell on him as well. Uh, pace of this game so vital. We talked to Mike D'Antoni before the game. He said we're going to run, run, run on every occasion. And Yao Ming is going to be a real target. He's going to have to be a guy that really works to change into the floors tonight against this high-octane Phoenix Suns team. Mike D'Antoni is the coach of the Suns right now, the second-place team in the Western Conference. They got the third-best Western Conference record overall. And he is last year's coach of the year. The Houston Rockets come in. Only four losses out of the playoff picture in the West, although, Doug, they are 13th right now with Jeff Van Gundy at the helm of this team. And it's, uh, it's been a very uneven season for the Rockets, to be sure. Well, one of the biggest disappointments, obviously, this year is such high expectations. But a big part of that, Kevin, has been the injuries. Yao Ming has missed 21 games. Tracy Brady, 13. John Berry, 34. Ray for Alston, 19. So all these injuries, they've been disjointed all season. They're healthy now, and they're going to have to make a playoff push. They cannot go through another stretch where they lose a lot of games. They're going to have to play at a very high level. I think they're going to have to win 75% of their games the rest of the way to be able to make the playoffs. Our officials tonight, Ronnie Garrettson, Bill Spooner, and Tommy Nunez, Jr. So Phoenix comes in five wins behind last year's incredible pace. And they led the NBA with 62-20 and 20 record. Here's a quick shot by...